Hey guys, it is Wednesday, January 6th. I have six eBay orders to ship out today and I'm also going to my antique mall. I have two antique booths and I haven't been there in like two weeks. So I got to replenish them with some inventory and I got plenty of stuff to put in there. Really excited to get that stuff in there and get it priced. Let's get to work. First thing I went ahead and pulled from my storage unit. This is a, um, a, like a history book of over the Rhine. This is an area in uh, near downtown Cincinnati. I got this and some other Cincinnati books at a garage sale over the summer. I'm only into each one for like 50 cents. This sold for $11.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a lot of four tap handles. Right down here, I got um, a good number of these from a recent bulk buy that I made. I think I listed like three or four separate in these. I just decided a lot up. They sold for $24.99 plus shipping. Those tap handles are going out severe named William. He says, hey, John, Houston Picker 836 here. Thank you as always. These will be for my dad. Thank you for everything you do for resellers. William, thank you so much for the support. Hope your dad likes those tap handles. All right, next thing is a lot of two books by David Gerald. Let's see, it's old inventory code, so it says B5. So I would guess it is somewhere in here. These maybe? No, that's Greg Bear. Oh wait, they're down at the bottom. I see them. I got a bunch of sci-fi books out of garage sale over the summer, and I've done really well with them. I'm only into each one for 10 cents, uh, and I've made some really good money. These two right here sold for $9.99 plus shipping. Next are some golf balls. Let's see, right here, it's two dozen Slozinger Raw Distance. Pick these up from the Piqua resellers. Those sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next sale is a big one. Let's see, it's an old inventory code. It says A5, so it is likely right here. Yep, there it is. This is a really unique piece. I got this from my guy Mike in a bulk lot of stuff that I bought from him. And I did a lot of research on this and I could not see any kind of comps whatsoever. It is an old like felt um, advertising sign for a cigar company. Really cool piece. I had no idea what it was worth. So when that happens, I usually just put a really high price on it and turn on best offers. I think I listed it for like four or $500 and then I lowered it a little bit. Got an offer last night for $200 plus shipping and I accepted. All right, you guys might be curious how I'm going to ship this, so I will show you. I did not list it with the frame, but I'm gonna ship it with the frame just to kind of help protect it a little bit. I'm gonna start with some bubble wrap. And I'm going to double box this. So I need to find a box that is really close to the size because then I'm going to put that box in another box. All right, this box works, but it's a little deep. So I'm going to take my box resizer, this little guy right here. Got this from Shed Flips. I don't get money to talk about his box resizers. I just really like them. It's got a scoring tool on the end there. I'm sure everyone watching this knows about Lonnie over at Shed Flips, but if you don't, Definitely check out his channel. Really good friend of mine, knows what he's doing. All right, now that I've scored all around the edges, I'm gonna cut each corner. And this is just gonna fold right down like this. It's not real pretty, but that's not a big deal because it's not gonna ship in this box. We're gonna put this in another box. All right, I am pretty sure that this will fit in this 1092 box. We're about to find out. And it's a little bit big, so I'm gonna find a different box for this. That's much better. There's a tiny bit of space up here, and I don't want this moving around a whole lot, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some newsprint in here. Now, if I ship this priority mail, I'm only gonna get $50 insurance. If I ship it FedEx or UPS, I'll get $100 insurance, but it's sold for $200. So I'm gonna be buying insurance through eBay for this. And depending on the price, I'll probably pay the extra money to ship at FedEx or UPS just because the post office has not been doing a great job lately. They're really overwhelmed, overworked, 
and stuff's getting lost and I do not want this to get lost. Okay, next thing is a Boston Red Sox patch. It's an old patch too. I think it is right in here, yeah. I had like five or six of these and I'm down to just two left. So I've still got the Orioles, but all the other ones I've sold. Let's pull this one out. Got this at an estate sale. I paid two dollars for it, sold for eleven ninety nine free shipping. That Red Sox patch is going on to Vinny Bryan. He says, "Hey John, wanted to buy this patch for a friend of mine that used to work for the Red Sox during their two World Series seasons. I bet that was a lot of fun. I have been watching your channel for a few months and really appreciate the solid content. I just started my YouTube channel, Red Dirt Picker, and I really enjoy the process of creating videos. Any advice for us little guys just starting out? So I've got a few pointers for you. When you're making videos, try to stay consistent with them. This is something that I've had." problems doing over the years. I can't always be consistent with uploading videos. You don't have to do them every day, um, but I think whatever amount you want to do, whether it's once a week, twice a week, you know, three times a week, just try to stay somewhat consistent. You don't want to leave your channel dormant for like a month because that'll definitely hurt you. Another thing I would say is let your personality like shine through in your videos. People will watch your videos because they like you. They can get eBay advice anywhere, but you know, they're probably going to watch your videos just because they enjoy seeing what you do. Like that's kind of what personalizes your YouTube channel. So figure out what makes you unique, you know, kind of let your personality through in your videos and I think it'll help you out. Last thing I would say is just have fun with it. Make videos that you want to make. Don't treat it like a job because you won't make any money for a really long time. I think I had my channel for like over two years before I made a dollar just, but I was making videos because I like making videos and I still like making videos so just make sure that you're enjoying doing it because you will get burnt out at some point <laughs> you know after making videos for so long you'll definitely feel the burnout just have fun with it don't take it too seriously and good luck with it all right before I head over to the antique mall I've got a question from a viewer I want to answer hello John I enjoy watching your videos I'm only about an hour and a half west of you in Indiana just off highway 50 I live in North Vernon my question is what size box do you use to ship out ball caps and hats where do you order them from? Thanks for all you do for the reselling community. Virgil Meeker crafts Virgil 30 on eBay. All right, Virgil, so these are the boxes that I use for hats. They're eight by six by four, and I get them on eBay. They only run like 30 cents. They're pretty cheap. So if you're interested in getting some of these, I'll put a link down below in the description. All right, guys, I'm at my antique mall. I brought a bunch of stuff back there. I'm gonna get it unloaded, priced, and in my booths. All right, first booth is done. I brought in this sunny slope crate, handful of books, the shaker. I thought that had a really cool look to it. Going to grandma's case, a couple coolers, and uh, a Bengals piece. I thought the matting was really neat. It's got like a football design, I like that. And here is my second booth. I brought in a lot of comics, some cameras, some starting lineup figures, fan, a little uh, copper pot, and this deer print. It's looking pretty good. If you guys want to check out my antique booths, they're located at the Westchester Antique Center. I'll put the address down below in the description as well as my booth numbers. All right, since I've last been at my antique mall, I've had a number of you guys stop by and sign my guest book. I want to give a special shout out to Megan and Pat, Bob, Eli, and Stacy, Stephen, and Liam. Thank you guys all so much for stopping by. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.